everyone, this morning I went up to Aldi and I did a week's worth of food shopping in $200 here, as you can see. All of it is gluten free and it's um, as organic as I could get up there. So I've got some great options here. I've covered for a family of four, school lunch boxes, breakfast, afternoon tea, yummy dinners, work lunches for me, and all of it, yeah, is definitely gluten free and as healthily as I can feed a family in $200. I just wanted to take you guys through my breakfast section. So my breakfast was gluten-free uh, cornflakes, or there's also options of free-range eggs. Chia, which is fantastic, great protein, omega-3s. Of course, gluten-free bread with some organic butter, as well as some strawberries cut up. And of course, oats, love oats. Bit of honey on the oats if you like. And um, yeah, that's, that's my breakfast segment. So this is my school lunchbox component. So boiled eggs in the school lunchbox are a great option. We've got, um, I've got carrots here, which you can have with hummus in school lunches. Definitely a piece of fruit is a minimum, maybe two pieces of fruit. Avocado on a sandwich. I've got the gluten-free um, gluten bread, as well as uh, organic butter. A little bit of turkey slices, or some cheese and crackers. And there's some rice crackers. So that's the lunch option I did for. My, um, for, out of my grocery shop, my $200 grocery shop this week. Sharing my afternoon tea after school, kids coming home hungry, maybe a snack to take to the office or something like that. So there's some bananas here, definitely you can cut them in half, these ones are quite big. Um, I love peanut butter and honey on banana, I love peanut butter and honey on fruit, full stop, it's delicious. Of course we've got cheese and crackers, if they didn't go into the school lunchbox they can be eaten as afternoon tea. I can't go past almonds for school lunches for my older children. They're allowed to have that in high school, not the younger one. As well as um, just afternoon tea, just little things to snack on before dinner. And of course, um, again, hummus and carrots, which is great if you haven't used it for school lunches. They're my afternoon, afternoon tea school options. So this is my dinner. This is seven nights of my dinner. So dinner number one will be a spaghetti bolognese, which is done with gluten-free pasta organic tomatoes, tomato paste, and of course a grass-fed beef mince. The next night I'll be doing, well, I'll probably do two nights later, I'll do zoodles, again with mince, and of course the tomato paste. I'll be making things like, I've got, I've got four gorgeous pieces of salmon, which I'll be doing with some salad. Um, the sal I've got salad ingredients here for one night. Another night I'll be doing some chicken. I've got free-range chicken, I'll be doing that with some quinoa. And if you have a look here, I've got a chicken roast and a pork roast some vegetables to roast with it over the two nights. And on night number seven, we can have a yummy tofu stir fry on some rice with the remainder of the vegetables or some beans or carrots. So yeah, and of course a little bit of dessert can be some yummy organic Greek yogurt with a bit of honey.